Ace money to name, getting paper to gain. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E. We're handicappers, so it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. Halloween, 31st no, uh, October. Got uh, Thursday Night Football. Let's get into it. We got uh, Jets. Uh, Houston going into New York to play the Jets. Uh, Jets is the favorite. It's kind of shocking, but uh, when you break it down, it's really not. Jets are uh, two and six. Very well could be, uh, you know, uh, five and three. Texans are six and two. Very well could be three and five. You know what I mean? Uh, points per game, they're basically the same. 23 and a half, the ranked 14th, Jets are ranked 11th. Uh, actually, the Jets are ranked 11th and giving up points. They're ranked 25th, so it's doubled. It's actually doubled. Uh, rushing, yards per game, Houston's ranked 18th, Jets are ranked 30th, so yeah, it's kind of doubled. Uh, passing, yards per game, Houston's ranked 8th. Jets rank 13th. It's a little closer. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It depends who's trying to show up. Uh, like I said, Jets very well could be on the other end of the stick. A lot of close games. But, uh, I don't know. Houston's got a lot of injuries, too. Maybe this is the day the Jets pulled off, both on a short week. But uh, I do got some player props. Let's get into them. All right, first up, uh, I went with Rodgers, passing TDs, over one and a half. Got it, uh, plus 102. Vandal, uh, Houston ranked 28th, allowing two TDs a game, passing. Now for the year, he's hit this a couple times, believe it or not. Uh, two, four, five times out of the eight so far. Uh... They've been getting to the red zone, haven't been completing uh, trips down there. So they've been getting many chances. Uh, I think today, uh, I believe that uh, Adams will get in there. Look for him for any time touchdown, as well as uh, Wilson. I think it does happen today, uh, especially, I mean, short weeks are usually bad. I just think the short week, the reps for for them two to get back in touch with each other, uh, I think it pulls it off. I think the Jets could possibly win today. Um, you know, like I said earlier, they're just a few plays away from pulling it off and doing the right thing. Um, a couple drop passes, things like that. But uh, I believe he goes over two touchdowns today, passing. So let's get it. Rogers. All right, next up, uh, I got two plays for the tight ends, both are Jets. I went with Rucker, receiving yards over five and a half. Draft Kings, uh, mine's changed a little bit. Uh, you could get it at three and a half at MGM. But uh, he's gone over this a couple times this year, including last game. Uh, he's exceeded three and a half or five and a half for that matter in uh, nine of his last 10 games at home. So they've been giving him the ball. I've noticed, uh, I think it was prime time last time or the other day, they, last Sunday. I live in New York, so they have Jets on the TV. So uh, I did watch it. He's getting a couple opportunities. Those are the home games this year. I'm expecting to go crazy. Uh, I expect him to get at least a catch. One catch should be able to go over five yards. So let's get it, Jeremy Ruckett. All right, next one. Uh, Tyler Conklin, 22 and a half receiving yards, DraftKings. Line did go down a little bit. Uh, 
Same thing. Don't look crazy. Uh, oh, you know what? I didn't play. I didn't play his receiving yards. I changed it to receptions over two and a half. Uh, I noticed, like I said before, from watching that, uh, as you see, like big difference, right? He, he does get a lot of catches, and uh, for some reason, you know, he does. They don't go for a lot of yards, which to me is retarded. It's another reason why they keep losing. Right, guys are running short of the first down and just dumb shit that just don't make sense. Uh, you know, you need say you need seven yards. Why are they running four? Get get to the sticks and make sure you get the first down. But uh, I expect to not go over the yards though as well. But uh, I decided to go just with the receptions. Hopefully, they don't bite me in the ass. Uh, as you see, he's been going over it. He's getting a decent amount of targets. Um, Yards are so low, he could go over it in one try. But as you see, yards, not that much. Uh, but uh, I expect him to do it. But uh, I went with the receptions, changed my mind at the last second. So let's get it. Uh, situational football is tight ends, check downs, things like that, third downs, two-minute drills. That's when they'll get involved. But uh, it's Bryce Hall. Uh, you can find it on uh, FanDuel. They have uh, five-plus rushing yards in each quarter. Go to rushing. Go under uh, game specials, and they'll have it. I can't really show you any stats on it. I just was thinking about it. Uh, you know, he's... Five plus, that's two carries, right? So I think he can do it as long as he's, you know, knock on wood, he don't get hurt. I believe he can go over it. I was trying to look out a way to get the uh, best way to commit this sportsbook robbery. But uh, I believe he could get five yards. They also have another one if you go on receiving yards for uh, Wilson. They got a bunch of them. It's on the game specials, whether you go rushing or receiving. But, uh, they got one for Wilson that have five yards a, a quarter. It's like plus 300. And then they also have one that have one catch per quarter. But uh, I fell away from that because Houston, uh, they hold the ball a lot. They got a lot of uh, time of possession. But uh, hopefully Hall will get, you know, two carries a quarter should be able to catch this instead of going his full game yards. use him I believe he's gonna go over his rushing yards what I did was I I used on uh, FanDuel they're offering a 30% boost on any play not just parlays it's just, you can use it on a regular play so I outlined it to 70 plus 69 and a half so it's minus 188 uh, but with the boost it brought it to minus 140 uh, it's been clearing this a bunch of times it's over 100 these last three games Jets aren't great at uh, stopping the run. Running back position, ranked 21st, giving up 100. So, uh, yeah, that's the way I went about it. Got to use these little clever tricks. Uh, FanDuel, 30% boost. Let's get it. Next up, kicker for Houston, Fairbairn. Fairbairn. Uh, Minus 102, 105, uh, over 7.5 points. Uh, just a pretty good defense <clears throat> sometimes, you know, to stop in the red zone. But either way, this guy's been over this many times this year. Uh, six out of the eight. Uh, I see no difference in it today. Uh, you can do field goals over one and a half. I just decided to do the seven and a half because the odds were a little better. But, uh, yeah, he should go over it. Let's get it. Mind you, they just lost Diggs. Uh, they only got Dell, uh, Schultz, and Mixon, basically. So, uh, receiving yards. Cleared this last game. Uh, I'm rushing through this. Computer's messing up. Uh, they did bring the, the line down a little bit. Uh, 
they got his receptions, one and a half, highly juiced. So I'm expecting, and then they got his under uh, in the plus money. So I expect him to go over it. As well as the next guy, Robert Woods, another receiver for uh, Houston. I think he's in the slot. Uh, I played his over 14 and a half. Same thing. He's cleared it a couple times. Last game, he cleared it when Diggs went out. Uh, they got the same thing with him. Uh, plus money on the under for one and a half receptions. So uh, I was telling you that he should get the ball. Uh, sorry for rushing through this. Uh, let's have a good day. Ace money the name, getting paid for the game. Happy Halloween. Thank <laughs> you.